Alright, what is up everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4, the only game where you can play as gel bait in a suit of armor. Okay, there are three buttons in this room, and we need to press them, so first, let's get this. Another herb. Oh yeah, and I gotta mention, I, uh, forgot to say that, um, we missed some loot, um, in this chapter. At the start, when you're on the second floor with Leon, yeah, you crawl under here and press this button first. When you're on the second floor with Leon and you're having to shoot Ashley out of her restraints, if you if you look behind that portrait of um, Saddler there, there's 5,000 pesetas, and there are two spinels in the room where those guys try to chase you. Yeah, you want to grab this thing. Yeah, there's two spinels in the well, one in each room, I do believe, but I didn't take time to get them because I don't need them. And uh, yeah, now you go back out here and you push this button. But yeah, so you may want to go back and get those if you need the, uh, if you need the, uh, Pesetas. I don't, so I didn't bother to, uh, you know, I didn't bother to really go for it. Alright, but I will get these. More Pesetas, and isn't there... Yeah, Velvet Blue. Alright. Now we go through here. And there's a, uh, yeah, Spinel there. Where's the... Oh yeah, look, a suit of armor. They're like us. Maybe we can be friends. Alright, so you go in here, and, uh, this room is, uh, we have a puzzle. Is there a... I always thought that looked like something that could be picked up. Alright, here's a puzzle. Now, this is one of the easiest puzzles in the game. What you do is you just take this piece that's on the middle left and move it to the center. Then just rotate the entire thing counterclockwise continually. And after a brief few moments of rotating puzzle pieces aimlessly, we get this, and there's a piece missing, and we insert the stone tablet. We stick it right in there, that's what she said. And uh, yeah, now this door opens. Alright, now we go through. Well, that's the way we came in. We go through here. And this is like Silent Hill creepy right here. Alright, now you want to grab this. It's the gold bangle. It's, uh, I think, like 8,500 pesetas. Okay, it's free money. You know, what are you going to do? And I think. Yeah, there's a spinel in here. And, uh. You get the Salazar family insignia. Now, when this thing turns around, what you want to do is angle Ashley toward the door as much as possible. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to just demonstrate it. Okay. You need to angle her toward the door as much as she can be. There's still the uh, the check option up. Okay. That that should be good. And we get the uh, the serpent ornament. And when uh, when the door opens, just book it out and do not stop running because these things come to life and they will kill you. They're not going to kill me. Oh, and when you run through here, these things are going to come to life and you have the option to press buttons to survive. Or you can just be in a suit of armor and laugh at their feeble attempts to kill you. You cannot hurt me, I'm a teenage girl. God, I love this suit of armor. Yeah, there's one more through here. Whoops, yeah, we gotta go around here. And, uh, yeah, there's one more. Yeah, if you are not in the suit of armor, those things will take you out in one hit. So you, uh, you probably should dodge those if you're, you know, if you're not protected. Always wear protection. Teenage girls like Ashley need to hear that. Okay, so you go through here. And Spinel here. There is... Velvet Blue. Oh, yeah, and when you're uh, doing those um, sequences where you press the buttons to avoid the knights hitting you, you, uh, you don't really need to take your sweet time there because the knights that were in the um, room, they will come after you. So, yeah. Alright, here's a note. The Butler's Memo. Knowing that Sir Ramon's short face had no family, Lord Salar must have used his strong faith in the Lost Luminaris to his advantage to talk Salazar into undoing the seal of the Lost Plagas once done by his ancestor. Yeah, I know it's some people say Sir, some people say Senor, but I'm just going to say Salazar because either way I pronounce it, someone's going to complain in a moment and say I'm pronouncing it wrong. Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was in some way being used unknowingly. I should have sensed the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partly responsible for all of this. Way to go. I have no idea as to what the Lord is planning. 
but Salazar was just being used. It is too late now, however. Salazar has already taken the Plaga into his body. There is no turning back once the Plaga has turned into an adult in the body. The Plaga Parasite will not die unless the host dies. There is no cure. Perhaps Sir Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the Lord's plan all along, but it's hard to tell. Nevertheless, there is nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations. I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Stay in school, kids, so you don't end up a servant. Alright. I'm going to put the uh, Salazar family insignia in here. And we uh, turn this thing. Alright, so now we go to a ladder, which actually, again, she'll climb up ladders, she just won't climb down them for some reason. There's a, a funny little Easter egg that if you, uh, I don't know if it works when she's in the armor, but yeah, there's Pesadas over here, but when she's in her regular clothes, if she's up above you, and you look up like you're aiming at her, she'll say, hey, what are you doing, or hey, pervert, because you're looking up her skirt. It's pretty funny that they put that in. Alright, and we unlocked it. Where could this lead? Who knows? Leon! Oh my god! Ashley! Aw, how sweet. Did good. And cheesy. I'm sorry if I was. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Yeah, see, she's not so bad. She's just a little scared, which I would be scared too if I had a uh, parasite growing inside my body. That would be pretty creepy. Yeah, we get the uh, items that she got, and also the treasures transfer over, um... They transfer over automatically, so, uh, because there's infinite room for them, so... Uh, the gold bangle and the spinels and the velvet blues are already in our inventory now. Or in our treasure inventory. Oh, who is it? Hey, it's Napoleon! What's up, short stack? What a touching moment we have here. All spoiled thanks to your interruption. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first-class script is like through your own actions? Uh, whatever. Welcome back, Ashley. Alright, so, yeah, the painting of Salazar that you can check is over there. And, um, yeah, so now we're back up here. And there's Pesetas. What is in here? Rifle ammo. I will take the Pesetas. And now we can go back down here. And, uh, yeah, go through the door. So that chapter is not too bad. It can kind of get annoying because Ashley's completely helpless and she can't attack except for throwing those torches. But still yet. Alright, this room. Pretty unique. The blue over here. And I think... Yeah, there's ammo over there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because I'm getting some terror bad lag. When we come back, we'll go across this roller coaster bicycle 1920s mechanism. And uh, move on to the next part of this game. So thanks for watching. See you next time.